Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 8 of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Right? I, I don't even think she probably would have been, you know, woke. Is it? So it's just a cleaning montage episode. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you even charge your phone? Or is her phone charging? I mean, dead ass, like, okay, I get it. Because, same, duh. Um, me, like, I gotta wash clothes. And I'm trying to think if I'm gonna wash clothes tonight. Or if I'm gonna wash clothes tomorrow. And such. Even though I have, like, two shows to do tomorrow. I was possibly going to stream tomorrow, but I think I'm going to either wait until Friday night or Saturday. I don't know just yet. I'm still thinking I'm late. <laughs> but I want to I wanna wash my clothes. Um, probably going to wash my uniform too. I don't know yet. Probably. No, I mean, I will. I got time. I'm probably going to be doing like an all-nighter tonight. But you smell bleach or you smell food? Food. <laughs> I wonder how long that took them. Well, I mean, it, 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 yeah. Good. <gasps> Yay.
And of course. It is the UK is supposed to be like reference to Nikkei? Or am I overlooking to that? I could be. Maybe. So, oh, So because of how she did, right? Mm -hmm. Specifically after hearing that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's also because he believes in you. Because if he didn't, he wouldn't ask or request this. Exactly. No, 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 no. He just wanted you for better things, so. Tomorrow?
Ooh, oh, Jesus. Um, maybe you should talk to her about it. Just want to talk. <laughs> yeah, what what's the dealio? <laughs> Obviously, she's pissed that you're going to probably be in the show with her. Right? Yeah. But obviously she found out, duh. I mean, that would be fine.
That was good. Really good. Mm hmm That's not good. She's losing herself. You couldn't get it. Oh, honey. Don't do it. I feel for her. I really do. Because once the confidence that she had in that audition and then going in and just like thinking, okay, this is ultimately what I got to do, yada, yada, yada. And then, of course, you get the results and you hear things that you really think that you didn't want to hear. And, and that fucks with your confidence a lot. And, and so... 
I hate to say that this to her and about her. This was something that was possibly coming for her for the longest time because of the fact is, yes, you know, first half of the show has been focused on one. It's like, <laughs> it's time to focus on the other one and such. But I do feel for her because truly she's very, I wouldn't, mm, she is cocky, but at the same time, like, I do get her ordeal. Because I think if anybody was in that situation as well, the same way of hearing, oh, like this, but next time could you, like, tone that down? We don't need her to be unhinged or too freaking co cocky and such. Like, that, that shit fucks with you. Like, that truly fucks with you and such. And so that's why you have to be really cautious on how... You word things. Let's say that. Yes, yes, yes. Because you don't know how some people are going to take criticism and such. I, I mean, we've, throughout our years, we've all dealt with criticism. Good and bad. Maybe some more bad than others. I cannot speak for a lot of people. Um, For myself, um, when, uh, okay. Me, when I get criticism, especially when it's, like, bad criticism, sometimes I can take it, like, the wrong way. And I get sometimes very emotional and such. Um, like I said, <laughs> uh, the only time I've really broken down in front of someone or in public was one day at work. We're not going to talk about it because... I don't like talking about it anymore because I'm like <laughs> made a vow to myself never to have a breakdown in this damn store and I'm not going to have that damn store make me have another fucking breakdown due to a person or just any little situation and such. Um, but it, it's, I think the worst criticism could always be, and I don't think I've had it, well, not, mm, how do I word that? Not really, it, it was to me. But it's, you know how it's always to someone close to you and it hurts a lot more when it is someone close to you rather than like, let's say a random person on the street or like maybe even your manager or something. When it comes from people that you really, truly care about and such, um, sometimes that relationship could be broken. Not saying that my relationship, um, broke with this person. I think at the time, um... When it happened, I I didn't get depressed, but I was really um, upset with the person and such. And so it made me um, feel really upset about myself a, a lot. And, and I think uh, even now, like, sometimes when I look at myself, I still think about those, th so those moments and such. And sometimes, like, I, I get back into the being upset with myself. And then sometimes, like, you know... Psh, YouTube comments. <laughs> Sometimes you won't get the... It's been a while since I had a really bad YouTube comment, like, affect me. No, I'm not talking about, like, the, um... Like, the one that I did for the Bartender series where it's, like, someone's like, Oh, my God, I just want to see the episode. I don't really care about X, Y, and Z and such. And, of course, you know, obviously, I can't show you the whole freaking episode and such with audio and everything. You go out there and you look for it yourself. Um, but I'm talking about when someone calls me out on, like, the color of my skin or how I am and such. Those ones, um, can really, and they have, they really affected me and such. Yes, deleting the comment makes it go away, but you still think about that and it gets very triggering. That's why it's like... <laughs> excuse me, like, of course, when we got to the moment where we're showing the bridge and she's walking across and I say, don't do it, it, it gets you very much reminding of Oshi, Oshi no Koi, and that situation where it's like, okay, yes, remember, like, these comments and, you know, whether it's from people or social media or wherever, like, one day, you know, it's going to keep bombing and bombing and bombing and bombing you and then one day it's just going to swallow you up. And such. And so you feel bad for people who have, who go through that. And it's a constant battle and such. That's why, like, anytime when I do get any bad comments, like, I'm literally, I, I try not, I try not to be a smart ass <laughs> and such. Um, 
but I, like, if you know me, <laughs> sometimes, and, and I've seen some other YouTubers who I follow on Twitter and social media and stuff, they also do this as well. They'll take a screenshot of said comment, uh, mark out, like, who made the comment, like, the name and the cover and like that, and then, like, say, like, okay, da 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 explain their reasoning on why it was like this and such and sometimes it could be just like just letting your stress uh your stress out and stuff that's a good way of coping with it and i try to do that a lot i do that with almost like really anything even if i have like a really bad day at work you will see <laughs> on my twitter and on my instagram and such <laughs> sometimes i may have like several voice memos <laughs> just going of me just like being like hey <laughs> and just going off because, you know, I, that's my way of de-stressing myself and such is going off. And a lot of people do that. You just need to mind how you do it because you, you don't want to get fired. Okay? So never say. Never say where you work. Okay? Okay. Yeah? Never say where you fucking work. Okay? Never just talk about the patients or anything. Customers, whatever. Just be like, oh, da 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 uh, 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 no, 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 that's all, don't do all that, because, you know, the backstory, the, the backlash about that is, but, no, nah, it's, yeah, you could get fired, if you do that, but we don't want that, keep your job, please, yes, other than that, guys, that is our reaction to this episode 8 of the Many Sides of Voice Actor Radio, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out, also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, enjoy the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially, <laughs> I'm sorry, all next Wednesday for episode 9, but until then, I will see you guys all next time, bye!